Hi, I'm Julie, this is my husband Steve, and we're the parents of Jason and Corey Ingram. They were born premature um, with the diagnosis of twin-to-twin -twin transfer syndrome, which made them really early, really small, and kind of delayed all of their growth um, and their development when they were born. And, and this, this is, is our story. story. Our first ultrasound, we were shocked to find out we had twins. Once the second ultrasound came right around five and three weeks, decided, you know what, you're gonna deliver in another week. They looked like beautiful little babies, just really, really tiny. Not knowing what was gonna happen, we had them baptized right away. Lots of things hooked up. You know, they were in the incubators um, right away, which kept them warm, kept their body temps up. You could see their veins through their skin. Um, they were just transparent. Steve even took his wedding ring off and put it on Corey's arm, and it went up to his shoulder. To say that they're breathing okay and then they're not, and then, you know, that roller coaster of up and down, and today they're doing this on their own, the next day they couldn't. It was um, probably 10 days before I could actually hold Jason, and it was over two and a half to three weeks before I could hold Corey. At first, they were both breathing on their own. They were doing really well, and then Corey started struggling. The staff was so great at Gunderson, they realized that Corey needed his brother, so they would put Jason in Corey's incubator to get his numbers to stabilize, and they, Jason would reach over and put his arm over Corey. The preemie diapers in the hospital are probably two inches by two inches. They swam on the boys. They were huge. Um, nothing fit them. They just kind of melted into garments and we had the smallest preemies that we could find. Um, so even they didn't fit into like the true preemie clothes until they were probably three or four months old. And now, finally, at 13 years old, they're starting to, you're starting to look at them and go, yeah, they're the same size as everyone else. <laughs> they're getting to be the same size. They can do what the other kids are doing. I was an EMT before I was a mom, and you never think that you would have to do some of the stuff with your own kids. Have to watch them stop breathing and wonder if you're gonna have to do CPR. But I'm glad I had the training, and I'm glad they actually did better than what we thought they were gonna do. They surprised us. They still do. Everything happened all at once. And so CMN stepped right in to help us, um, to tell us what was going to happen, and then to be there right away for us. The boys stayed in the hospital, but Steve and I had to go home. So if we needed to come back, if we wanted meal vouchers, um, if there was any information that we needed, if we needed to look up books, anything else, they were just there for us. The incubators that they were sleeping in um, were part of what was given by CMN and helped funded by them, um, helped them breathe and survive those early days of their lives. To hear my kids say that they're not heroes was kind of hard. And um, they, they learned that just because they're not struggling any longer, they were being heroes by standing up and asking people to stand up for children that need help still. And so they were being um, heroes in that way. And they knew that they were making a difference. And the friendships that they formed with these other kids was just really special. Since this experience, uh, uh, we plan on doing more as a family uh, to some of these events and, and being involved more and more. No one wants a child to be sick. They are supposed to go out and play ball. Yeah. Not worried about worrying about the next treatment, worrying about mom and dad's bills. And this is what kids that are sick a lot of times worry about. And CMN helps with that. They help take the burden from mom and dad, um, even if just a little bit. And so if we can do that through CMN, and if we can um, even a little bit, it makes a big difference. It's huge.